the one thing I've been obsessed with recently is hassle backing. It's a super easy technique that seems intimidating at first, but once you learn this trick, it's actually really easy to do on just about everything. And the great thing is, you don't need any fancy appliances or new tools. You probably have all of this equipment right in your kitchen right now. Just a pair of chopsticks, a sharp knife, and a cutting board. So of course the first thing that we always think of when we think hassle backing is a potato, of course. We're gonna try the hack on this and then go from there and see what works. So you put the chopsticks kind of parallel to one another and then put the potato right on top. And what that does is it helps you from cutting straight down the potato and you know having it fall apart into slices. Just take your knife and you can just go straight through. And you hear like as the knife is hitting it, it's stopping us from going all the way down. So you can basically do this as close or as far apart as you like to. I kind of do them at about a quarter inch. Make sure you're keep going like really straight down because if you slant, you might kind of get these little potato pieces that will come out. So there we go. Just had to move the chopsticks back a couple of times, but it's pretty easy. And then you get all these like really nice, beautiful folds. Now that you have the potato hassle backed, just drop it on a tray. So I'm gonna add some butter. Also gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper. There we go, we can pop it in the oven. So you're not just limited to doing this with savory stuff. For example, this is essentially an apple crisp apple pie that's done so much easier, no pie crust whatsoever. You take the apple, slice it in half so that you have a flat surface to work from. You can start chopping. And you might have to be a little bit more careful with this one because the apple is firmer. There we go. Add a little butter, and then also do a little bit of a streusel topping. All right, now you just toss this in the oven, 425 for about 20 minutes, and you will have dessert ready. Like I said, you can hassle back anything. So I'm gonna give this apple a try. It's basically fall in one bite. Find more One Thing videos on thesprueseats.com.